What's your name? My name is Gerald Porter. Gerald Porter. I've heard that name before. So. Uh, Harrisonville, Missouri. You're not an amateur radio operator, are you? No. I've heard that name somewhere. Baseball right. player. So this is a 1917. He's on the news a lot. Ah, that's what it is. <laughs> Not good things. Oh, really? Oh. oh. We don't want to know that. Oh, I, I, I am so full of crap. Don't listen to me. Yeah, that's going to be over the world. Uh, uh, this is a, a replica, 1917. Falker. 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 Uh, D7 replica. Now, who actually built these in the beginning? Was it us or somebody uh, else? The Germans. It was a German design. Anthony Falker uh, built, he was a Dutchman, and he yeah. built... He built uh, Airplanes it, for everybody, and including it, the United States. Right yeah, now. the Red Baron and all that. I yeah, suppose, he yeah. The, uh, was the uh, creator of the Fokker aircraft. And uh, this in here, uh, the D7, um, was the P-51 of World War One era. Yeah. Uh, considering all the airplanes, this is the best of the best. Yeah, I recognize that when I saw the box. I thought, oh. Oh, come on, Noel, let's go see this. Yeah. The, um, it's really small compared to what we're used to now. Huh? This is true. Now, this is an 80%. Yeah, this is full size. This is 80%. Oh, this is an 80% plane? It's an 80%. Actually, you get figure 80%, uh, you're only looking at about four foot difference. I mean, it's, it's on, on wingspan? On wingspan. So, why the 80%? So, you park it in the garage? Uh, or no, it was uh, <laughs> due to the. When it was designed, we don't. We didn't have the horsepower motors available that oh. we have now. Oh, so what? See, this right. here's got a 2180 Volkswagen uh, high performance engine. It's, wow! It's built for yeah. airplanes, cam, crank, uh, everything is built for an airplane. What kind of horsepower do you think the thing puts out? 115, about 115 horse, and it's it's almost a constant type of horse. I'll be darned. And so with a redrive system on it, it makes it really a nice combination. Redrive, I don't even know what they Yeah, uh, the redrive is a built reduction reduction so that oh. your engine can turn up thirty two hundred RPMs or there. More power. And yeah. then you can bring this propeller down in RPMs. Yes. So it becomes more it's efficient. It's a gear reduction, more or less. It's a gear reduction. That's correct. <clears throat> and it gives you a little more power for the whatever yeah. you're going to do. Uh, now, we've got this on uh, YouTube on uh, under under the uh, nickname Fat Falker. <laughs> and uh, be well, sure to... That well, there's got to be spelt properly. Fat Falker. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. You will see... <laughs> you will see it take off, and I mean it. It climbs it, good. It would climb at about a 45 degree angle or better. Wow! And just hammer. It really does it. Wow. So it's fully acrobatic or not? No, we, it's it's stressed for heavy G loads, but uh, we do not. You don't do the. We don't loop, no. certify. We will not certify any. I'd always be afraid I'd fall out if it went upside well, down. <laughs> it can take it, but it's not. A, it's a. It's a legal issue. Sure. So, sure. No, it was not. So, uh, let's talk about the fuel for just a second. If, if you were to take off and have full tanks, I don't know how many gallons you carry. This in here uh, with my, this is a, what we call a wide body. Was an adapt I increased the width of the fuselage yeah. four inches for uh, pilot convenience and comfort. Right. Uh, the standard D7, which is like that over there. That's yeah, let me slide the proto model. So that's a D. That's, that's a standard D7. That's a standard D7. That is a granddaddy. That's the original one. Number one. Huh. And it's uh, it's I would say probably uh, 15 years old. Oh, are you telling? Oh, it's 15 years old. Yeah. And this kit's been. So that's in a kit also. Yes. Is what you're that was number one kit, or the proto model for the kits. Really? And where was it built at? Right here in Holden, Is that? Missouri. By Robert Bozzi. Robert Bozzi. Right. He owns uh, airplane, uh, aerodrome airplane. Um, in Holder, Holder, Missouri? Holden, Missouri. Holden, yes. Holden Missouri. Holden, Missouri. You know, you were talking to me years ago about a P-51 miniature job you were thinking about. Too small. I can't get in them. <laughs> That was a problem. The, uh, that's one reason 
why I went to this in here is um, I fly uh, and I own a Vietnam uh, Air Cessna O2. Cessna O2A. Yeah. And I retired, and, and the price of fuel has gone. Oh, skyrocketed, yeah. I know My that. retirement is down here. Yeah, that's kind of how mine so is, down I in the dumps. I can't afford flying my bigger. So I decided, okay, we're going to cut corners. I'm going to a small airplane. It's a standard airplane. That way um, uh, I do my own work on it and uh, I uh, maintain it, keep it. I keep it at home. So I'm oh. my insurance, my hangar. Overhead. Uh, overhead is down to hey. the very minimal. Boy, I understand those things. Yeah. Like flying it in here, though, they used to, the years ago, they used to top him off before he went home. Really? The fuel. Yeah. Now, this in here burns, I've got 16 gallon tanks in this. 16 gallon tank, one one tank, and we're getting about four gallons, four hours to a gallon. Four gallons to an hour. I was going to say, I want that airplane. Yeah, <laughs> I would like that, of auto fuel. Now this is an auto fuel. Four gallons an hour. An hour. Right. Auto fuel. And the speed, airspeed would be? Yeah, I'm hoping for this in here to be busting right at 85 mile an hour. When I get her done, I'm a, I'm, I'm shooting for 85 mile an hour. Well, that's not too bad. That's uh, pretty good range for... Yes. <clears throat> we had one of the guys uh, in our last fly-in flew from Tulsa, Oklahoma in a D7 and made it from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Gardner. Was, was it empty when he landed, though? Or? She was low. I don't know if I'd want to He made it. Yeah. I mean, he you know what happens there. when they run out of gas, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, <laughs> everything kind of goes in, <laughs> downhill. Yeah, from there. But uh, this in here, like I say, this airplane here is uh, very few options on it. Um, uh, the only optional equipment that on this airplane uh, kit comes complete less the motor, propeller, and the instruments, and everything else is furnished. Um, I put on uh, the optional equipment, I put on a set of hubcaps, yeah, I built me a set of machine guns. Um, is that made of metal or aluminum? Or? It's wood, it, metal, uh, and then, Combination. Yeah. yeah. And I built, uh, scaled down my engine, dummy engine up there. Oh, the head? Or yeah, the, yeah, it's all scaled down uh, for looks. And the gas tank, is is that your PVC thing up there? Yes. Yep. Okay, you, so you didn't actually put it in the wing? No, okay. no, it's, it's a bulkhead deal. The tank is uh, an aluminum. Um, all welded up for you. So there's nothing in the kit that uh, requires any welding. But we do it all for you. So it's a matter of mounting and right. riveting and yeah, so screwing or whatever. Basically, and all the gusset plates and everything like that is all milled and uh, trimmed and everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's a matter kit. of... Put it together? Yes. So, so what's, what's a kit cost these days? Any idea? Uh, you can run them uh, between um, six to uh, 15000 Oh, that's not too bad, is it? And that's everything. That's everything. Yeah. Like I say, everything but a motor. And the accessories. Yeah. And, uh, so what's a prop cost these days? I believe that never run around $450. That's, that's, wooden, not, that's a wooden prop, yes, isn't it? Is. Yeah. That's made in Missouri. Everything on this, I shouldn't say, everything on this airplane is U.S. made. Darn close to it. Darn though. close to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. And all of our dope and fabric uh, is, uh, is all uh, biodegradable, green, no more lacquer. No more real toxics. I'm about to hit my 10-minute limit here, so I'm going to wind her up, I think. But it's, it's a good-looking plane. I'm glad you made it here. It's a lot of fun to show. And if somebody wants to see it, it's over at Holden, Holden, Holden Missouri. Missouri. And is there a uh, lot of planes like that over there? Yes. Well, well we built 21 where, different. Where is Holden, anyway? I guess um, I don't know where it is. Well, is it Highway 50? Yeah. Go out 50 to Lone Jack. Yeah. And it's just... So it's still in the KC Metro area? Yes. Oh, it's just, okay. just past Lone Jack, Missouri. Okay. It's not even holding. Really? Cool. Yeah. All right. But, uh, I've got some brochures here for you. That'd be great. Daryl, thank you for the interview. You're very welcome. This is probably going to be on the Internet. And